Sam, what did you learn about your team following Tuesday night between now, between then and now? Um, well, I mean, Tuesday night was obviously rough, and uh, going into practice the last two days, we knew we had to get a lot better. Um, playing against this good Eastern Kentucky team, uh, we need we knew we needed to improve on a lot of things coming into this game, and, and I feel like we did a good job preparing. How did y'all handle the press tonight? Or today, I think we did a really good job uh, putting up what, 99 points in the uh, in their press. Uh, it can be kind of frustrating at times, but I think we, uh, for the most part, we broke the press and got a lot of, you know, three on two opportunities, two on one opportunities, and uh, had like a lot of dump down passes to guys like Steve and and Quinn a little bit at the end there. So I think we did a good job against their against their press. Took you a while to even take a shot tonight. Um, when you're on the floor and you're not shooting, um, how do you grade yourself, especially on the defensive end? Um, just doing the things that we, we practice and preach every day in practice. Uh, I feel like I'm getting a lot more comfortable on the defensive end, and I feel like I'm getting better every game. Um, and also just, you know, if, if I'm not scoring the ball, I feel like uh, just like, you know, making the little plays, you know, like screening your guy or blocking your guy out, just doing the little things just to help my team win. You, you go against Jordan, I'm sure, every day in practice. What are the most impressive parts of his game, and what are maybe the most underappreciated parts of his game? Uh, I mean, definitely in shooting. You know, he's an unbelievable shooter, one of the best shooters in the country. Um, you know, going up against him in practice every day, I mean, in the long run, it's just going to make me better. You know, playing against, a, you know, an All-American every single day, and even Dwayne Sutton, you know, even though those guys are different. But, uh, you know, the hustle that Dwayne brings and, and the skill that Jordan has, uh, it's definitely going to make myself better and, uh, I mean, obviously it makes our team better. Close to middle point of the season here and, you've, you know, through your first college season, what's been the hardest transition for you from the high school when you played in high school and coming to the college game? What's been the hardest transition to make? Um, that's a tough one. I mean, I know this summer when I was asked that question, I would say, like, how long you have to play hard and then – I mean, that's really like how hard you have to play and then how long you have to play hard. I mean, you really have to play 100% at all times. You know, there's no plays off. You know, you're always, you got to be in the gap or you got to guard your man on the ball. And it's just, I think that was the biggest adjustment I had to make at first because I'm mean, really all the freshmen, like we had never played that hard. You know, we were never asked to in AAU to play, you know, 100% all the time. So I think for the most part, we made that adjustment pretty well so far. Sam, you guys shoot 63% tonight. Do you guys have an internal team goal that you hope to achieve from a shooting percentage standpoint every single game? Uh, no, not that I know of. I haven't heard a, a certain percentage that we want to shoot every game. We just want to be efficient on offense, um, move the ball around. We've got a lot of talented guys, so there's no need for you know iso ball. Um, but if we just if we move the ball around, you know we're going to get a good shot, and that's what we aim to do every time. So for you as a freshman, when you have a loss like like Tuesday night, um, wh how has your adjustment been? You know, to bounce back from that and and especially respond the way you all did today for for you personally. Um, really watching a lot of film. Um, yeah, that's the biggest thing. Just trying to grow from from our mistakes and the things we did well. Uh, try to improve on them. But I mean, it, it definitely sucked losing on Tuesday. Um, but you know, it, you know, it happens, and it's, it's not about you know. Uh, you just, it's about how you bounce back from it, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I came here and wanted to, I mean, I love winning. So, I mean, every single game that I've ever lost in my life, it, it stings. You know, I hate losing, you know, I love to win. So, I mean, it was definitely frustrating, but I think we, uh, we, we bounced back good today. Do you see David's confidence growing now? I mean, obviously, we missed some time with the injury, and now he's kind of getting back in the flow, getting some more minutes. What was the end of that question? Do you see his confidence growing? And you're st we're starting to see maybe some of the things you guys saw from him in the early workouts this summer. Yeah, definitely. I mean, from David's first day on campus, he got here about a month after after uh, the rest of the freshmen did. Uh, I could tell there's something different about his game. He plays with a lot of poise. Um, you know, he's a real you know long, uh, big point guard, can guard multiple positions. And uh, I, I love the way David plays. You know, he lets the game come to him, and, and he's a – Great passer. You know, I think it's going to be a lot of fun to play with him as time goes on.